What's up? My name is Brennan. Welcome to another video. I can't believe it. it's been so long since I've made a video. It's probably been like, I don't know how many months and I can't believe that. I'm, I'm really sorry about this. Should have never let this happen. All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to render a animation with sound because I noticed a lot of people are wondering, they're commenting and saying like, you know, what my video didn't render with sound. Why is my video not rendering with sound? Um, I want sound, basically, you know. We all want sound. I mean, if we're trying to do that, we we want, we're trying to make our video have sound. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so what you want to do first is make sure you are in the render tab right here. This is the uh, this is type of active data to, to display and edit. So the type of, you know, this is all about rendering. This, this tab is about rendering. So in order to render your video with audio, <clears throat> you have to select a file type. So let's go all the way down to the output. There's these little um, tabs or like little, I don't know what you call these little drop open box things, sections. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, throat. And under output, you'll find these settings right here. These are all the output settings. So like the file type, uh, if you want to overwrite the file, if you want the file to have an, uh, if you want to overwrite a file that you rendered to previously, or you rendered to the, your desktop, or let's say that I rendered, yeah, let's put this on desktop. I'm going to this is, and also I didn't explain that right now. I need to explain this right here, this little folder icon. When you select that, that um, is, it takes you to the finder, the window finder, and you can find any folder you have on your computer. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure you can find any, any folder, like any folder. So I'm going to go ahead and select desktop and click accept. And now whatever I render will render to the desktop. Uh, so that's what that is. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, this is compression. <clears throat> so it says the amount of time to deter determine best compression, zero equals no compression with fast file output, 100 equals maximum lossless compression with slow out file output. So if you want to compress your image or your file, but these are all this, this, the settings under output. Some may not know. Uh, they, some people might not notice this uh, little drop down area, this little section. And this is very important for when you're rendering sound. So if you're going to render a video, you're not going to use PNG unless you're doing a uh, time. Unless you're doing a, um, what do you call it now? I'm forgetting what it's going to <clears throat> Unless you're doing an image sequence, you would render to an image type, which is PNG, um, OpenEXR, JPEG, BMP. Those are all image file types. Uh, JPEG, 2000. Um, all the video s file types are right here under movie, as you can see on the far right. Uh, what I did was I just left click this option here, which says PNG. And then now you can see all these different file types. And most of the time, I use H.264, especially because that's one of the file types. MPEG and H.264 are probably my two favorites to use. Um, H.264 is supposed to be very YouTube compatible or um, good for uploading to YouTube. So I would recommend using H.264. But notice when I select AVI RAW, there's no other options besides what shows up right here. When I select H.264, there's a lot more options to go to select from. There's audio codec. That is a very key uh, setting to notice because this is what gives you your audio. If it says none here, it's not going to render out with any audio. You have to actually select MP3. Uh, AAC, Vorbis, any of these file types. I usually select MP3 though, 
more than likely I'm going to select MP3 whenever I render an animation. Um, <clears throat> but that is basically it. It's very, it's pretty simple. Go to MPEG. You have the same options as H.264. Everything is the same, from what it looks like. Yeah, everything is the same. Um, with this file top, Augthera, Theora. I never really used that one. Xvid has the same frame server. It's just like the AVI raw. It has no sound. Is the AVI JPEG? has no sound. So more than likely you're going to want to use H.264 and down on any of those file types. You can render out and it will render out with the sound. So say that you're doing an audio visualizer, just like I have multiple, I have tutorials with, um, <coughs> excuse me. I have tutorials where I'm showing you how to make audio visualizers and more than likely you're going to want to render out to H.264, MPEG, Augthera, or XVID because of what we're doing. We're actually going into the video editor and we're adding in sound. And once you do that, it will render out that sound right here in these with the um, settings. Like if you select H.264, it will render out as long as, like, like I said, as long as you select MP3 as your audio codec or any of these you have to select an audio codec for it to actually render out the sound. So make sure you uh, keep all of these things in mind. Uh, I know that may be a lot that I just told you about, but if you want to, you can go ahead and rewind. Check out my other tutorials on how to make audio visualizers. Don't forget to give a great like, thumbs up if you really like this video. I hope you did. I hope it helped you. I hope I didn't go on too long. And I will try to keep my tutorials short and to the point, as well as try to explain everything and go a fast enough speed to where everybody can enjoy it. And I'm not going too fast for the beginners. I'm not going too slow for the more advanced people. So I hope you like this video. And I will see you in another video, hopefully, very soon. It was great to see you guys again. Talk to you later. Bye.